I am Jessica Zert, a PhD candidate at the Frankfurt University of Applied Sciences, and I will present to you our paper, Improving Electromyographic Muscle Response Times Through Visual and Tactile Prior Stimulation in Virtual Reality. Electromyography, or EMG in short, measures the electrical potential generated by skeletal muscles. It enables hands-free interactions by detecting muscle activity at different human body locations. Standardized protocols for EMG signal acquisition and electrode placement have been proposed by the European recommendations for surface electromyography. Isometric muscle tension is a consciously activated muscle contraction without any movement, where the muscle is tensed without changing its length and therefore the involved limbs are not changing their position. Isometric EMG is preferred for avoiding unintended motion-based input in computer systems or when movement is infeasible. We have demonstrated in a previous study that biofeedback, providing visual and tactile modalities simultaneously with isometric EMG interaction, modestly yet beneficially improves user performance and that finger tapping on the muscle side before interaction aided in its localization and activation. Stimulation before interaction, known as prior stimulation, can help to localize and tense a muscle faster. Our goal was to probe whether a stimulation of the muscle location before and not during interaction would improve the response times during an ENG-based interaction task. The process of muscle priming, a phenomenon from physiology, suggests that prior stimulation of muscles can enhance performance and cognitive processing. Similarly, muscle activation during warm-up exercises can lead to improvements in various metrics. Similar research in HCI addressed the mechanisms using isotonic contractions or while playing music instruments. Furthermore, stimulation prior to the muscle actuation has the potential to maintain the user's sense of agency as it lets users cognitively associate the initiation of the movement to their own intent. This is in contrast to stimulation during the muscle actuation and may render it particularly for applications within the realm of learning. It is currently unknown if this principle applies to isometric contractions and electrotactile stimulation. Additionally, the impact of these factors on muscle reaction time, vital for hands-free real-time interactions, remains unclear. Whether such prior stimulation using visual or tactile cues can help reduce the time to perform isometric muscle contractions was therefore tested at four different target muscles, which were biceps, triceps, upper leg and calf. Shielded from external influences, we conducted the study in VR. Alongside a control condition with no prior stimulation, we tested visual, vibrotactile and electrotactile modalities at those four target muscles. In a response-based full factorial within subject VR study with 21 participants, we investigated the impact of the prior stimulation modalities on the muscles' reaction times using a Vienna test system, according to Prila et al., adapted for EMG-based input in VR. The trial procedure started with two seconds resting, followed by 
three seconds from the pool of randomized levels of prior stimulations, which were no visual biprotectile or electrotactile. Then 15 seconds in which a green light and a beeping tone randomly appeared for two seconds after three, five, seven, nine, or 11 seconds. Thus, all participants experienced the same experimental trial length of 64 minutes. Each price stimulation, muscle location, and duration until the green light and tone were presented twice and in a fully randomized order. By the comparison of the mean reaction times of the different muscles to various prior stimulations and the no stimulation condition, here in red, we found that prior stimulation consistently shortened isometric muscle contraction times. Surprisingly, the calf muscle showed the fastest mean reaction time among the muscles tested. Indicated by lower bars in the left graph, suggesting a quicker response to stimuli. The results of the subjective survey on muscle location and reaction time using a seven-point Likert scale also showed that prior stimulation with all modalities improves the localizability of the muscles, with the electrotactile modality being subjectively favored for all muscle locations indicated by higher bars in the right graph, suggesting a greater agreement to the statement. The qualitative results revealed that all prior stimulation modalities were supportive for muscle localization. Tactile prior stimulation modalities were rated particularly supportive for task processing and body awareness. Importantly, some prior stimulation modalities caused potential discomfort, and while the electrotactile prior stimulation modality was rated as less comfortable, it was yet mostly favored for muscle localization assistance. During the processing of our data, we recognized very distinct curve shapes for each muscle location as shown on the left, which led us to the assumption that it might be possible to predict the origin muscle locations based on our EMG data. As shown in the confusion matrix on the right with a grid layout, displaying the performance of a random forest classifier in predicting muscle locations based on the EMG biosignal data, a generally high classification accuracy was found. We see possible applications in smart EMG variables where misapplication is a risk. This research could empower devices to autonomously identify the correct muscle for user-friendly feedback on proper placement and sensor positioning. This paper evaluates the stimulation of muscles using EMG before asking participants to use those muscles. The experiment aimed to identify if this pre-interaction stimulation improves the user performance. Results showed that prior stimulation reduces the time to perform isometric muscle contractions with the calf muscle showing the fastest response and a subjective preference for electrotactile prior stimulation was found. These findings were also in line with the qualitative results, where an interesting additional viewpoint was opened towards the enhancement of body awareness. Our findings are important for interaction designers and bioengineers who aim to implement input techniques for EMG-based real-time and responsive systems like typing, pointing, selecting, for users with and without motor disabilities in anticipatory systems.